Hi. Okay, it's filming. Oh, it's good. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm Kayla. You know me. And I'm Gabrielle. I'm joining Kayla on this vlog <laughs> because we're both facilitating one of the YAC retreats. We're pure facilitators. Um, but we wanted to share what we're most excited about. Definitely most excited to hear everyone's story and not necessarily doesn't have to be their cancer story, although that is one of the main reasons why we're here. What about you? I'm also excited about making new connections with people. And, and like you said, hearing those stories, and, and it doesn't have to be the cancer story. It can be really any story that they want to share. But they're just so full of, of wonderful people that we're going to get to meet. So I'm really excited for that. So we are about to get ready to head on the bus. So everyone's just packing up. So we will check back in with you later when we get to the retreat. Beautiful lighting. Look at this beautiful day we had. Glad the lighting's nice. Yeah, you look nice too in, in the nice lighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fear can be a fear of cancer, a fear of recurrence, a fear of death, a fear of regret, a fear of losing someone. It can be a fear of being rejected. Um, really, fear can take various shapes and forms, and we'll all experience it in a very different way. So how do we manage fear to make rooms, room for other things in our lives, to make room for peace and for joy? our mid-retreat check-in and we have done a lot already we've we've talked about fear of recurrence and death we've talked about sexuality intimacy and dating we've talked about oh emotional health emotional health so we've talked about a lot hey hey he's weird it's we're trying to do this check-in but it's also those are the facilitators we're trying we're to do it. We're trying to do the check it. So loud. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Show it. Show it. It's alright. Yeah. Uh, oh, I haven't heard shit in like three days. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's our check it. <laughs> do we have to start over? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what Cancer Game is like. scans, a PET scan, I finally walked into an oncologist's office, 
And he told me that I had stage four A Hodgkin's lymphoma, the worst case scenario of the best case scenario. <laughs> outside for a walk um, the rest of the peers are watching a presentation about yak and learning about the community and I'm just taking a little breather because I just did my presentation and <sighs> I feel <laughs> so much lighter after doing it so um, it was emotional had a little moment as people know I have a hard time with my emotions aka why I'm here <laughs> and why I have my blog and everything but I had so much amazing support from my fellow friends and lymphoma survivors some people came up to me after and we were talking and it just made me feel like I made a difference even if it's just to one person and I'm just going for a little breather um, today is scheduled a little bit differently than the other days of retreat so because it is the last day a little bit more relaxed we have a bit more fun um, and we just spend this last night together as a family, basically. So that's what we're doing. And tomorrow's gonna be pretty bittersweet. I made a bunch of new friends, which is all I could really ask for. And I think I helped a couple people thing and that's, that's what I came here for. So I'm very happy with the way everything turned out. And that's about it. Paul, do you have anything you wanna say? Um really nice out here in Paris, Ontario. <laughs> I've had so much fun here in Paris, Ontario, hanging out with 22 cancer survivors and my fellow peers and my fellow facilitators. For anyone who has been touched by cancer, whether you're a supporter or you're a cancer survivor yourself, any stage, get in touch with Young Adult Cancer Canada because they're going to change your life. They'll take you on adventures, they'll take you on retreats, they've got the yearly conference and an amazing community of over 800 young adults affected by cancer, so check that out. You're a spokesperson! <laughs> so, you presented this morning? I did. Um, she did great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and the retreat is coming to an end, so overall, I think everyone's feeling a little lighter and... Excited. Excited. As I walk through the and mud. And connected. Yeah. Your presentation the other day. Yeah. How was that for you? It's so great being able to share your story like that to people who get it and who want to hear it. And Where, Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm in here. So I'm really grateful for Yak for that opportunity. Yeah. It's nice to show people that there's something after. Yeah. Life, life it gets better and keeps going. Yeah, it doesn't stop. <gasps> Okay, we're really out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in shape to walk and talk up the stairs. So we'll check in with you guys in a bit. Bye. Say bye. Hi. <laughs>
Artificial immatures are an old amazing. Analytically, I was salt animate things. Broken barriers bounded by the bomb. Buildings are broken, basically a bone bar. Casually, creating catastrophes, casualties, canceling, cash crap, the canopies, collapses. That made a dominate, daily do and go. Demonstrations on John on the down low. Oh, that's gross, I love it. <laughs> So the retreat is officially over, feeling very reflective today, very light and very happy for all the new friends I made this weekend, all of our hilarious experiences together and all of the growth that we did as a family and I hope that everyone else felt the same way. Thank you so much to Yak for doing this and just doing what you do and supporting young adults as they live with through and beyond cancer. You guys are fucking insane. Fucking amazing. Thanks to Karina and Leslie for organizing this as well as the rest of the staff. Thanks to Norma, Scott, Todd, and Christine for being there. You guys were our rocks throughout the weekend and you made thing, things so seamless for everyone. So thank you. And thanks for listening. Whenever someone needed to talk, you guys always made yourself available and I just think that's so cool. Thank you also to all my fellow peer supporters, Paul, Thanks for scaring the shit out of me all weekend. I think I have permanent whiplash. Thank you, Bonnie, for sharing your story. Just showing us that there is so much to do in life after cancer. Thank you to Gabrielle for being my co-host for this vlog. And I can't wait for our future shenanigans. I took away a lot from all of you. You all inspired me with just everything that you are and that you will be and continue to be. So thanks. Before I 
close out this vlog, I would just like to say that this vlog is for rectal use only. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Paris and Five Oaks, for hosting us. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.